Come and watch the grasshopper teach us something new today. Looking for cause and effect activities? Check the description below for differentiated activities, digital notebooks, and printable worksheets. Perfect for stress-free planning. Let's begin. What is text structure? Text structure is how the author organizes the information they are writing about. The text structure lets you know the purpose of the text. It helps you figure out what the most important and useful information is. Text structures you might find in a nonfiction text are compare and contrast, cause and effect, problem and solution, sequencing, and finally, description. Let's zoom in on cause and effect. What is cause and effect? Cause and effect is when one event makes another event happen. When a text is talking about the cause, it is explaining why something happened. And when the text describes the effect, it is telling what happened as a result of the cause. Here's an example sentence. The bowling pin fell down due to the ball hitting it. This sentence is talking about two things happening, the cause and the effect. The cause is the ball hitting the bowling pin, and the effect is that the bowling pin fell down. Authors often use certain signal words to show what the text structure is. Cause signal words connect to information that tells why something happened. And effect signal words connect to the information about what happened as a result. Here are some signal words you may see for cause and effect because, so, therefore, since, if, then, according to, due to, in order to, and as a result of. In this sentence, the author connected the cause and effect using the signal word due to. Now we will read a text called Thrills and Chills. As we read, see if you can find the signal words and connecting information that show this is a cause and effect text structure. Thrills and chills. Scary movies are quite popular since people like not knowing what's about to happen. If someone pops out from behind a curtain, then you may feel fear and excitement. As a result of these feelings, your skin can get tiny bumps called goosebumps. Now go watch a horror film for some thrills and chills. What signal words and connecting information did you find? Pause the video to discuss. Let's see if you found everything. Here's the first signal word, since, and this is the information it connects to. The next signal words are if and then, and here's the connecting information. As a result is the final signal word, and it connects to this. Highlighting the signal words lets us see that the overall text structure is cause and effect. But we also have a lot of other important information underlined, and that can make it tricky to understand the text and examine it closely. To make it easier, we can fill out something called a graphic organizer. What is a graphic organizer? Well, a graphic organizer is a special map that helps us organize information in a visual way. It makes it easier to understand and remember things that we have read. There are many types of graphic organizers. Here is one that is helpful for cause and effect. To use this organizer, write a cause in one of the boxes on the left. Then write the effect it goes with in the box on the right. This arrow in between shows that the two ideas are connected. If there's more than one cause or effect, add more boxes like this. Let's look again at the text thrills and chills and organize the information we underlined by completing a graphic organizer. Let's look at the information connected to the signal word since. The cause or why something happened is people like not knowing what's about to happen. We will write that here. 
The effect of this is that scary movies are popular. We will write that here. Now let's take a peek at the connected information to the signal words if and then. The cause is someone pops out from behind a curtain. And the effect of that is then you may feel fear and excitement. Let's put that information into the cause and effect boxes here. The signal word as a result is last. This sentence tells another effect of the same cause. Someone jumping out results in your skin getting tiny bumps. Let's add that effect here since it connects to the same cause. Now let's take a look at the completed graphic organizer. The graphic organizer is finished. We added all of the important information. Now we can easily see the cause and effect information from the text. Now you're ready to find cause and effect text structure in nonfiction texts. Thanks for watching our teaching video on cause and effect. Don't forget to follow Grasshopper and check the description to shop our text structure resources and more.